up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a High School Stories episode number 16, I think. Um, and real quick about the gameplay, it's a team deathmatch gameplay on retreat. I forget what I go. Um, but, yeah, so today I'm going to talk about the football game that we played. And the whole, basically the whole competitive hangout. Um, if you guys didn't know, uh, the competitive team right now, and we're trying to keep it this way, all lives within like 10 miles of each other. I think the first person that lives like, like 10 miles from us is like Gino, but Ryan, Nate, and I, which is uh, Ma Maniacal, Twist, and, and me, are all like within two miles of each other. Ryan and Twist, or Maniacal and Twist are within like within like 200 feet or no, they're, they're within a thousand feet of each other so I mean they're, they're really close so it's actually amazing that they hadn't met before uh, I introduced them so we all live in the area and um, they all live in this area and we decided that it would be cool if we could all hang out as a competitive team so we said 12 o'clock on Saturday, and it ended up no one got here until about 1:30, and that was maniacal. Uh, Twist got here about two, and Zorks got here about three. So um, we uh, we were originally all supposed to get lunch, but we didn't feel like waiting for Zorks. So we um, he we went up and grabbed Chinese food from. Look, a Chinese restaurant that's like not even not it's not very far from my house probably about a quarter mile um, Friendly UAV above. so it, it was we went up there uh, and then we're sitting down in my house eating and all kind of just talking and laughing and then Gino walks in and goes or doesn't say a word just walks in my house not even knocking slams the door shut Walks over to my table, grabs a piece of Ryan's chicken, pops it in his mouth, and sits down. And then Nate and I are like dying. Ryan's, I think, more stunned that G that Gino took a piece of his chicken. Cause, and Ryan was mad about that. It seemed like, no, nah, nah, I'm kidding. But, um, but yeah, he stole a piece of uh, Ryan's chicken and just sat there. Nate and I are dying. Ryan was laughing. Uh, but not as hard as, uh, as Nate and I, because I guess he, he doesn't know Gino's personality as well as Nate and I do. Um, so, we are sitting there. He still hasn't said anything. It's about five minutes later. And he reaches across the table and grabs my fortune cookie. So I grabbed Nate's. Or no, I grabbed Ryan's, and Ryan stole Nate's, and then Gino stole Nate's from Ryan. So, um... Gino got two fortune cookies, I got one, <laughs> and yeah, that was funny, um, but then we decided we were going to go play football, um, about 3.30, which was stupid because we hadn't even digested our food yet, um, it was about 3.30 and we decided we would go play football, and so we walked over about half a mile to the football field, and um, we played football for two hours, we played two games, um, I won, my team won both games. I was on a team with Nate and a team with Gino. Uh, so, yeah, but there were some pretty hard hits in there. Um, Gino, I don't know if you guys know how to do the karate neck breaker thing, but you, like, touch your, like, hand, your fingers to the inside of your hand and then push up really hard. I don't know how to really explain it. Um, but Gino accidentally did that to me, and I saw it coming, so I leaned my head back real quick, and he's, uh, got like my nose and I got lucky like we got lucky that I didn't get hurt on that play I mean my neck hurts a little bit now but I got lucky I didn't get seriously hurt um that could have been really bad uh, yeah uh, and then there was another play uh, where we had this play called the ghetto play and it was uh Nate and I came up with the name but Gino and I came up with the play um and I think it was when Nate, Nate and Ryan were still teammates um, and the ghetto play was, I would say go, I was the quarterback, because I'm not very fast, but I'm big, so I'm, I'm hard to tackle, um, because I'm big, and, um, 
So, the, I would I would say go. I would pitch it back to Nate. Then he'd be the quarterback, but he could run. Like, we were doing that you could only run if you were getting blitzed. But, in that situation, or, or like you could hand it off to. But in that situation, he could technically run. And it got, a, it actually fooled uh, Ryan and Gino, or Ryan and Nate the first time we did the play. Ended up scoring a touchdown, probably about 20 yard touchdown pass. Um, I was wide open, no one was on me. Um, because they didn't know what to do. They kind of just stuck Gino because they thought he was going to run. And yeah. So anyway, um, then I was, the next time we did that play, I was running. Ryan just coming to tackle me. He jumps on my back and lands on top of me. Then the next part, time we I go out for a pass, Gino got me wrapped around the waist. Can't get me down, but I'm not moving. Um, he's got a strong grip, and I can't move. So I was just going to say, I'm down. And I heard Ryan coming, so I said, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Well, Ryan decides to jump on top of my back and bend me in half like an anaconda. And that hurt so bad. Um, I landed... My legs were where Gino was, and my head was on the other side of Gino. It hurt so bad. Um, I mean, I got, I got right, I got up. I was down for a minute or two, and then I got up and played. But that would, did, that did not feel pretty. But anyway, I ended up winning both games five to four, and then we kind of just chilled in my house for about an hour, and then everybody went home. So the day was full of fun. Uh, everybody had a great time. So. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.